bodies of the plaintiffs, Peter Hubner and John Farrell. John says the defendants co own a boat together, and one of them ordered and authorized some work to be done. They did the work, they got paid by check, and then a stop payment order was issued. And no matter how hard they try, they can't seem to get the defendants to pay up for the completed work. They're suing for $500, the amount of the unpaid bill. These are the defendants, James Fletcher and Edward McGowan. James says this is a very simple case. They brought the boat in to check it out because it wouldn't maintain speed, and the plaintiffs went ahead and repaired the boat without first getting authorization regarding the cost from them. Besides, they didn't even fix the engine correctly because the boat still doesn't maintain speed. So pay them? Ha! The defendants are accused of being landlubbers. All parties, please use your audience. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiffs are boat repair guys, and they want to be paid for work they did to the defendant's boat. But the defendants say they would pay, but they never fixed the problems in the first place. It's the case of a hull of a problem. Letting us have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, man. Okay. You folks have been fixing their boat. How many times have you fixed it? Three. Okay, and so uh, which one of them brought it to you for a problem? Uh, both of them, actually. Okay. Uh, Edward so they brought it by, and what was the problem phone. this time? Um, the problem was the motor was cutting out at 2,000 RPMs and above. And what does cutting out mean? Slowing down. Slowing down. What kind of boat is this? Chaparral. What year? Uh, 99. Uh, how big? 24. 24. 24. 24. What do you guys do, fish? Yeah. What? what yeah. Fish? You yeah. use it to fish? Yeah. 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 If we what, get, can get out there. What town? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, what town are you in in Florida? Cape, Cape Coral. Coral. Cape Coral. All right, go ahead. Um, I had my mechanic go out there, go over the engine. We found a bad distributor cap on there. I showed Jim the distributor cap when he came in to pay the bill. The motor ran well at the dock. We did not take it out for a test drive. How much was the bill? The bill was $382.54. Why are you suing for 500? The bill was 382. Okay. Plus all the court costs that we have well, received for. Well, court costs are separate. You got, if you win, and you the get bad your check cost. fee. I, that's what I want to see. Show me the proof of a bad check fee. Okay, right here. So you fix it, and who picks it up or pays you? Jim. Jim okay. wrote the and check. And what does Jim say? Sounds great. Everything's fine. You don't. Uh, you have he it? he. They they pick the boat up, and they took it out. They said it's still running kind of rough, so I sent my mechanic down to the dock. I said, pull the fuel filter off the off the engine and do a fuel sample real quick. Wait, wait, he, did he bring it back or did he, he tell He brought it back. Okay, how long, uh, how much that time? That day. That same that, day that he brought it back day. and said it's still not right? Correct. Okay. So I sent my mechanic down to the dock and, and it was it, he had water in his fuel. So that in turn was causing a big problem. All right, but and in I their do. head, you didn't fix the problem, right? Isn't Correct. that what they're thinking? That is what that, they're thinking. You know, they paid you three hundred and eighty-two dollars, and you didn't fix the problem. That's what well, they're thinking. Well, we did because it was it would barely run when it got there. Okay. And when we put the distributor cap on it, and I showed them the distributor cap had, you know, it was corrosion in okay, the cap. Okay, so you replace so. the distributor cap. And, and and what else? That's it. Okay. All right. Um, Mr. Fletcher, yes. let's hear from you. Your Honor, we brought the boat in several times for the same problem. And they went and they replaced a lot of pots, told us there was a lot of pots uh, broken on the boat. We allowed them to do that. They went to $6,000 worth of pots. The problem still existed. The problem died. Okay, hold on one second. I died. have a $500 case that just now went down to 383. How did it just go up to 6,000? That was 6,000 before the 383. Yeah, but what is, does it have anything to do with the problem that the you brought it in? It was the same problem. We brought the boat in to, for the very first time. We Show me in. the receipts that total $6,000 where right, your right complaint yes. is on the receipt always as the same thing, That's right? That's correct. You'll see receipts and then they'll, they'll say that the other things were wrong. Well, right, but I'm not, okay. Well, we're not just Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, this was two months before our event. It's six thousand dollars worth of work, and service requested. In other words, your complaint is boat died, would not restart. Suspect starter. Install customer provided out drive. What's an out drive? The out drive is the part on the back of the boat with the propeller on it. Shows what I know. 
Power steering <laughs> pump or one of the lines is leaking, start or replace, replace bellows and gimbal bearing, check for vapor line. So I'm not sure that that's a legitimate statement that we had to bring it back to them, you know, $6,000 worth of 100 times for the same thing. I'm not sure that's accurate. Well, <clears throat> it's we certainly, it for certainly the paperwork doesn't bear you out. Well, we brought it in for the same problem. They went through that. We didn't. We didn't uh, complain about the six thousand dollars. They, they well, you're replaced about the it now, ain't you? Well, yes, because they never <laughs> fixed the problem. Right, okay? except for the problem that you brought it in for on that six thousand dollar bill two months earlier is that your boat died. It's not. Hey, it idles poorly after, or it runs poorly after 2,000 miles. The boat mile. died after 2,000 RPMs. That's that is not what this says. It says, it says boat died and okay. won't start. Okay. That's the document you gave me. Do you okay. have something that says something you're saying? If the boat saying? died... In, in, Do you have any other documentation besides what you handed me? Yeah, we that have you'd like me to look at that would verify what you, you know, said? I, I think we'll just stick to the $300 okay, right now. So okay, let's talk about that. All right. So we brought the boat in for the very last time. We didn't think the service was very good. That we never got to that problem is what my point was. We so never why got to don't the you take it somewhere else? Well, we're into it for six thousand dollars. We figured we, they'd finally get to the problem. No, no, but he's going to charge you. He tells yeah, you I'm going to charge. Okay, so does so he or down, no? We're down to this problem where the boat is not running properly. It's dying after two thousand RPMs. The same problem. What does problem dying we had. mean? I asked you what. Um, the exact word that you used was breaking what? Breaking up. Breaking up. And then I asked you, what's breaking up mean? And what was his answer? Losing power. I believe. Losing, Losing power. power. It powered right down to nothing. Is that accurate? Is that what he told you, that it, ju that it, that it would just his, die? His statement on the work order, and we, we take this verbatim, what they tell us in the service request. It says motor breaking up over 2,000 RPM. Does it break? Is breaking up a term of art that everybody understands well, what it means? Well, it's, it's uh, yes. you know, I would yes. take it as it's something what? sputtering. Die? No, it's it typically sputtering. It would be losing spark. Losing, losing power. Right. Losing All power. Right. All right, go ahead. So the boat was losing power or dying. All right, so we brought it back there, and now we're down to the last, as far as I'm concerned, the last time I'm going to bring the boat there. And he tells us that he, he replaced an ignition kit. We already put a brand new distributor in that. Uh, about two months before we, the boat has never run since we brought it to them. Okay, We've hold on one second. Hold on, slow down. According to him, what he did for the 382 was put in a new distributor. Right, and we had already put and one in. And according to you, your distributor was new. Correct. And according to you, the distributor was. It had corrosion marks around. Okay, show me the proof that you put in a new distributor just before he said you needed a new distributor. Oh, the cap, we don't have it. We don't have the cap. They took it out. I don't want the cap. I want proof that you had already put in a new distributor. Right. You should have a receipt yeah. for it or what, the work order what, or something. What I can give you is this is the electronic ignition pot. He said that he placed that distributor that, that he changed. This clearly, this the photo was taken on December 20th of last year. This here clearly shows that this is not a new pot, Your Honor. Do you have it in your phone? Like, did you take a yeah. picture? Yeah, that's what I want to see. Show me the photo in this so I can look at the metadata. Who's, uh, he's, <clears throat> can I have that picture? He says you put in an old part. It's not, because that's not the part no. we replaced. What well, is this? What am I looking at? You're this looking is, at the actual well, distributor. And we, what did you replace? We, a distributor cap and a rotor. He has that, too. It says tune-up hey. kit. Tune-up kit is a distributor cap and rotor. I have the part as number right what? here. I'm sorry. As, as, as opposed to that is a distributor. The rotor goes on that shaft, and the distributor cap goes on top of that and screws to it. Well, what is the kit? So, Your Honor, that, so what's that's the all kit? the electronics. So what's the kit? A cap and a rotor. That's the kit. That's okay. what a tune-up kit is. All right. Um, I need yes, you to go sir. back to your spot. You can't sir, roam in the sir. courtroom. Yes. Sir. Skip. Sir. Skip. Yeah, he can't hear very well. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's better that way. <laughs> I, I'm remembering when my dad, when my mom would be, bam, 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 and my dad would go like this. <laughs> um, anyway, um, did you ever take the boat to somewhere else to fix? No. No, no, no. How did you end up fixing the problem? We ended up fixing ourselves. How did you end up? No, no, you keep looking. You we keep looking. Let him handle ourselves. it. He's fine. Go ahead. When we left the boat, to, to his place, we didn't get 100 yards. He said he tested the boat, it says right here, brought it up to 2,000 RPMs. He couldn't have. We, we went 100 yards, we couldn't but even get back to But why do you even give him a check without testing it yourself? Like, because I can't you won't let us take the boat. 
Unless yeah, we give we them a check. We don't get the boat until yeah, we no, pay. We don't, we don't release the boat until we're paid. Right, but if I give you a check, then don't we check it together to make sure? Or, or no, you have to be on the water to do that. Yes, you can't. Right. You have to okay. take the boat out. All right, all right, all right. We didn't get 100 yards. We brought the boat right back. We called John. Okay, is that accurate? That is. All right, and down what do you to tell the dock. him? We told him it didn't work at all. Right. So and what he, does he say? He came down. Now, he says he grabbed the filter and took the filter up, emptied the filter into a bottle that had water in it. Now, if that was the problem, he's, uh, he's got $200 in diagnostic uh, problems here. Why didn't, Why didn't he do that That's a very legitimate place? question. Right. If that was the problem and it was so easy for you to figure it out, then why didn't you just look at that beforehand and... Because I wasn't, I wasn't aware of it. That the the mechanic, when he took it down, he he brought the motor up. We can tie the boats to a dock and and check when that. I, I, check when the I RPM say we, I mean the load. stop. I mean the collective we. I don't mean <laughs> you personally. I mean you and yours. Right. So so a legitimate question is. If that's what was wrong with it, what did I just pay you for? Why would I, why did I need to pay you for for that? What day did you do the repair? The, the eleven twenty six, and he paid for it eleven. Okay, so twenty six. He's believe. saying that you can that this is not a new part, right? No, no it's got yeah. crew. And right. that the proof of cap. it is that there uh, are calcium deposits. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Calcium deposits, you say? Corrosion. Right. Corrosion. Corrosion. I would have brought it in, but I, I wouldn't cap. be able to put it cap. back on. That's a new cap. It's not the one that was on the boat. Right, that's but why the are there calcium? That's the one hold that's on, on the hold boat. on. Don't right, talk to each on. other, gentlemen. I'm not a referee, I'm a judge. <laughs> what are they pointing to there that they say are calcium? I mean, I do see something white. He's saying no. that's calcium deposits. No, Your Honor, that's brand new distributor cap. That is so a brand new distributor. So there's no calcium cap. deposits. No. Oh. It's corrosion. Right. It's from the spark jumping the gap between the rotor and the so distributor. So is there cap? corrosion there? None. Um, tell me what's behind the thinking, because if you guys took it to a place who said, well, they rooked you because this is not a new part, and then showed me that, which litigants do here every day, that's, that's a case. That's a defense. But you didn't do that. You've just decided, you know what? We authorized this, but the heck with them because what they did didn't fix it. And then we fixed it. And how did you fix it? We fixed it with an empty siphon hose out of the gas tank. That was the whole problem all along. It would not, after it hit 2,000 RPM, the gas wouldn't go through. So what was this, it you replaced? This here. Okay. It, How did you figure that out? This is in the gas tank. He figured it out. <laughs> this is, I went over one morning because I was disgusted after we had let the boat sit for another week or 10 days, and I got tired of that. So I, sometimes you're better off working alone. You know, if you get yeah, three or four people it. trying to make a bowl of soup, it's not going to come out like you think it's going to. But anyway, I went over. I put a piece of clear gas line on the carburetor and ran it to the fuel pump. Because if, if the carburetor has a problem, that's one thing. But if there's not enough gasoline flowing into the carburetor to feed it, it's going to falter and fail. And that's exactly what happened. I started the motor. The boat always ran great at idle. Up to 1,000 RPMs all day long, you could just put up and down the canals, never a problem. Over 2,000 RPM, no fuel. The, mo the motor's dying. And that's what we kept stressing to them. And, but he didn't take it out after he fixed it. He just told us he did. So anyway, I traced it back to this. Now, I couldn't even blow through it. It's so <laughs> restricted with calcium, and this is white metal with calcium deposits on it. What is that piece in your hand? This, this here is where the gasoline is sucked up by an electric fuel pump, all right? And there's a little check valve in there. What it does, it prevents the fuel from flowing back down so I went down, bought a new one, put it in, took the boat out, it ran beautiful. I had it okay. up to 5,000 RPM. How much did that part cost you? 30 bucks. Okay. Do you have the actual receipt from the date in question that we're talking about? Did mm -hmm. I see that? Yeah. This with all of our notes and everything, that's the actual repair. So it was there in September, it was there in October, and it was there in November. It was there every month? Yeah. 
We never got to use the boat. <laughs> no. Say it again? Never got, never we got never got to, got to use the boat. It never went anywhere. After, every time he fixed it, we couldn't take it out. And, and that's relevant in October, November, December in Cape Coral. Right. But yeah. like right. to you guys. Yeah, you, we're out. Yeah, you're well, out, yeah. but we're not. Either, the, either the, weather, the weather wasn't good or it, was, it wasn't running right, so. Let me ask you a question. I'm just wondering, as a matter of um, customer service, like, did it? Did anybody ever call them and say, "What's the problem?" We, yes, I yeah. actually actually did, and I, I said, you know, what what is the problem? I said, you know, I I didn't know you were unhappy. Let's get this straightened out. And what he said? And you know, he had a couple expl expletive remarks and basically said, what "I'm were not they? paying you." What did he say? He told me to off, and I was not going to get paid. Because? According be to him, what? He just said, I'm not going to get into it. Okay, and according to you, paid. what did you tell him? Well, we, we took the boat out 100 yards. We brought it back. He turns around and says it's a fuel problem or it's a carburetor problem. The next thing we got to do is rebuild the carburetor, which is another $700. And I've had it with him. We've, we've replaced all these parts and never got the problem fixed. And then he, and it's like he cut the cord and let us drift away, and that was it. That was so it. That we couldn't uh, even get out of there. The mechanic you know? come back, put the, the fuel cut separator the cord, back said, get on off and walked away. Wait, wait, wait cut the cord. What well, do you I mean? mean he, he gave the rope, threw what do you the mean? rope out. Oh, this. you're talking about the rope? The rope. Oh. They were tied yeah. up to the dock. You're on your own. You're on your own. Best of luck. And we drifted away. Well, I want to pay him four hundred dollars. You didn't think so. drift away because you were able to. Put, 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 put. Yeah, yeah. The wind like, was blowing that day. We couldn't even put, put, put. It's like it's like. <laughs> don't forget to write when you get somewhere. <laughs> Tell me if they are to be believed that the problem was solved by everything he just explained. Tell me why <laughs> they're not right that they paid you for something that they didn't get. Like, you, you heard his whole explanation of stuff. There could be layers of problems yeah. with a boat. So when we find something bad, like a corroded distributor cap, we say, OK, good, that's it. We put the distributor okay. cap. OK, I'm going to make them pay you for a corroded distributor cap. Here's the problem. What you did didn't fix it. Why do they have to pay you anything beyond $54.09 if you ended up being wrong? We weren't wrong. There are, as I said, there, were, there are frequently layers of problems in a boat. Well, so, no, they know because it's been there well, in September for the, to the tune of six grand. It's been there in October. But look at all the different work that was done. No, the, I know. I know. No, I know. Okay. I know. And I know. And I don't believe him when he says, "Oh, it was always the same problem." I don't believe. Him. But we know that they went out a hundred feet and then came right back. Well, I, I would say it was more than a hundred okay, feet. Okay, so two hundred feet, well, three hundred feet, well, hundred yards. They came right back. So well, we well, know. Your Honor, there's one problem with that. Yeah. From our dock to get to be able to put the boat up on plane is a considerable distance. Okay, so, so what? So if we believe that. So what? If you're going to fix it, it's supposed to run right that considerable. The guy came back and out. What, how much later did the guy come back? And he, he came back 10, 15, 20 what? minutes. I yeah, guess. exactly. It's supposed to run more than that, so mm -hmm. that's not helpful. So, but it was running when he came back. Yeah. But he came back to complain dead. to you yeah. that and, it was and still we, a And we immediately went okay, to look at Okay, we're done. But now here's charge. the problem you have. Listen. You think that you can just stop payment and that you won't have a problem with that. Well, you will, because I am going to award them their court costs, and I'm going to award them their return check fee, and I'm going to award them the tune-up kit costs, because you have a boat with a new tune-up kit cost. I tend to agree with you that if that wasn't the problem, nobody should be looking at you and quoting what the next endeavor to figure it out is, OK? I agree with you, particularly in light of how he ended up fixing it, because he figured it out. And if he figured it out, what's your, are you retired? Yes. What you used to do? Mechanics. I used to do maintenance. Hey, look at that. Well, why didn't you figure it out? Oh, and are you well, retired? He's better. <laughs> I was in the automobile business for 15 years. Okay. Yeah. Well, why are you taking it to them? To can I ask a question? I mean, yeah, what was you I can, to do but first I'm going to finish my sentence. Okay, sorry. And that's 5409 plus there's a $10 return check fee. So that's 6409 and uh, the court costs. And what were you going to say? How well, what was I supposed to do besides cancel the check? Go talk back. to them and I, not, not I, you know. I talked to them at the dock. you, you got to sue them. In other words, you made it comfortable right. for yourself. Yeah. What you're supposed to do is say, hey, I want my $382 back, Judge. Here's why. But you don't get to just say, <laughs> you know, and, and do that. That's not how we run commerce, yeah. you know. 
Um, but after hearing the whole story, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order you to pay the $64.09 and your court costs. Good luck, gentlemen. Thank you. So the plaintiffs prevail to the tune of much less than what they were seeking for. But how do you feel about that? Not good. You're not, you yeah. know, well, you fixed it. It's running, it. it's running right. fine right now. Right. Yes, it is. I have pictures of it running at high RPMs. You should have fixed it yourself. Off. My That's goodness. Correct. You can be able to use the boat now. That's correct. And go out in the boat and have fun. Yes. And get a suntan, we'll right? Get a, we'll get a ticket. <laughs> okay, go get a ticket. Enjoy it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very you. much. Thank All you. right. Nice. Okay, Thank good you. enough. <laughs> Mr. Hubner, Mr. Farrell are on their way out of the courtroom. This happened much to you? First no, time no, in 25 no. years. What did you think when he told you he fixed it for that little part, that they well, wasn't was getting gas? interesting when you saw him trying to blow yeah, on it. Yeah. That's a check valve. It's got a spring in it. You can't blow against it. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank okay? You, you won. Have to a, a degree. Day. To a degree. <laughs> Doug, the defendant had an expert in this case, and it paid off. Experts are critical in cases like this.